got something to say to that? Plenty. The hell? Yeah, I know. Actually, a lot. Our, our people health are losing. Okay, but our. Do you I, think I, you're losing? Uh, no, not necessarily. Well, so then, who are you to speak for other people if you're not losing and you're benefiting? I'm not benefiting, benefiting from the ACA whatsoever. Well, the it's, ACA, it's, it's, it's killing me. The Ameri Obamacare, well, the same thing. That's socialism, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> Give me a minute. Actually, actually, actually. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. So, do you want to check it out? Charlie Cake smashes radical socialist lecturer. Okay. Uh, Queen Charlie Cake, we're going to kick in us. Let's get right to today's video. So, um, my question to you is we hear, we hear a big game from Turning Point USA and the right on how you want to reduce the size of government. When, in fact, government under conservative leadership here the past, I don't know, eight, 10 years has not been reduced. And you still talk about increasing it. The wall, farm subsidies, I could go on. So my question to you is, what do you plan on doing to reduce the size of government? How do you plan on um, pressuring your elected officials to reduce the size of government when in fact, they're not doing it. They're only increasing it. Well, look, I mean, the, the, the Trump budget itself reduces government. It closes federal agencies and merges all of them. You know that there's been more federal workers that have left the federal bureaucracy than have been hired under the Trump presidency. Did you know that? No, I did not. So before you start I'd like to, to say see some numbers, though. Uh, okay, I just gave you a fact. So we don't, we don't really have a chart or access. To... <laughs> okay. Okay. You can, you're entitled to your own opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts, but that's okay. okay. So <laughs> under under President Trump, every single budget he's submitted to Congress reduces the size of government. Under President Trump for 16 months, do you know that he signed a federal hiring freeze? Did you know that? He signed a federal hiring freeze, sure. which by definition shrinks government because over th thousands of people every single week retire out of the federal bureaucracy. So under President Trump, the federal bureaucracy has gotten significantly smaller. That, well, well, you're trying to push forward a $13 billion wall. That's socialism at its finest. You, you, farm subsidies. What? A wall Sorry, is socialism? Farm, farm, do you know what socialism farm subsidies? is? No, I believe in national security. The, the, the farm, I believe in defending our borders. That, I do believe in a military. What about the farm subsidies? Well, the Trump, the, the self-induced tariffs? That, Wait, um, no, that are can now you just, can we bailouts? just slow down? Hold on, just slow down. Please explain to me how a wall is socialism, because that's, that's the craziest it's, definition it's, of socialism um, I've ever heard. It's taxpayer funds going towards the good of society. Is police socialism? Absolutely. <laughs> that's new. Police and fire protection, public schools, so all no, government public is socialism? lands, it's all, it's all types so of socialism. So you believe all government is socialism? No, those are municipalities. Any, any taxpayer... Any taxpayer subsidy that's put towards the common good of society in whatever, in whatever context you think common good of society is, is a type of socialism. And everybody here uses those types of programs. You got public lands, public roads. I'm sure everybody in here likes to go shoot their guns on public lands. Well, well first of all, government you do, takes care of that. A couple interesting facts, though, because a lot of public lands are actually paid for by hunting licenses. Therefore, the people that purchase the hunting licenses are the ones that are paying in. <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, the number one funder in the federal government that actually funds our transportation system is the federal gas tax. That's actually factored into your purchase of gasoline. So a lot of ways we have user taxes for the things that you're describing as socialism. So Which, the more you drive, the more you pay into it. The more you hunt, the more you pay into it. Now, to, to your interesting convoluted point that every layer of government is socialism goes directly against the author of socialism's treatise. Socialism is the public ownership of such industries. Mm. So exactly. And you know what? Okay. Those, in those include worker co-ops, which I'm sure everybody here shops at the community co-op, right? No, no. Well, if you do, if well, if you do or to, uh, or let me say this town and country who shops at town and country here. That is a worker co-op and it's a type of social. It's all so voluntarily. The, hypocr so the hypocrisy so, here is well, it's pretty really overwhelming. So let me tell you, you know, what's amazing about a capitalist system is you can voluntarily be in a co-op. So no one's forcing town and country to be in a co-op. So only in capitalism could you voluntarily put yourself in that sort of system. But if you don't want to be in a co-op, you should have the freedom to do that as well. What, what, what about the folks that are involved in capitalism that can't buy a home or that are being ripped off by the pharmaceutical companies and the healthcare industry? That's, not, that's capitalism, all right, and people are losing. You got, a, got something to say to that? Plenty. The hell, yeah, I know, actually a lot. Our, our people health are losing. Okay, but our, do you think I, you're losing? No, not necessarily. <laughs> well, so then, who are you to speak for other people if you're not losing and you're benefiting? I'm not benefiting, benefiting from the ACA whatsoever. Well, the it's, ACA... It's, it's, it's killing me. The Ameri Obamacare, well, the, the same thing. That's socialism, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a 
This debate is something. Actually, 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 the health, the ACA is a healthcare exchange where you can go on and buy insurance in the free market. A government created. It's a it's a website. Web, it's a website. Created it's a government by what? website who, who where you can go it? buy where you can go buy different types of health insurance on the free market from private healthcare companies. How many taxes were in Obamacare? Twenty eight new taxes. You still can't buy health insurance across state lines. Hundreds and hundreds of pages of new regulation were part of Obamacare. It was 1,800 pages, and Nancy Pelosi said we have to pass it to find out what was in it. Who's it, making the profits on health care right now? Is it the government or is it private industry? Well, it's, private industry, yeah, right? Sure, correct, but um, not, if you, not if you're a veteran, you go to That's the veterans That's not government regulated. Well, if you go to the vet, we have forms of socialized health care, and they're the worst parts of our society and our culture. Medicare, and it works. Well, how about Medicaid? Medicaid doesn't work, and Medicare is deeply underfunded. Medicare has $60 billion of documented waste every single year, and Medicaid is health care for the poor. There's 62 million people on Medicaid in America right now, and the approval of people on Medicaid is sub-15%. Obamacare expanded Medicaid. It is a form of socialism. It doesn't work. This idea of Medicare for all is really Medicaid for all. It is not better health care for everyone. It's destroy our good health care system and give more free stuff for, to, for, to people for more votes and then destroy the medical advancements that are inherent in our current system right now. Is our healthcare system broken? Absolutely. It's broken because sure, government picks and chooses you. winners right now. And the ACA was nothing more than a pseudo-socialist bill that the insurance companies, the hospitals, and the drug companies mm. lobbied for through the guise of trying to benefit people. But it was pseudo-socialism because it was government-created exchanges 18,000 new IRS agents were hired under Obamacare, hundreds of pages of new regulation, 28 new taxes, including taxes under medical excise tax, the individual mandate tax, which literally forced people to buy health care if they didn't want it in our own generation. As this was really a lot, it was interesting to watch, and I, I kind of learned from insight too about Medicare and ECE. It's, 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 it's beautiful to listen to such a conversation, such a debate. Um, the socialist lecturer was really intense he, this was a heated debate he, he stick to his words and he was giving charlie some clearer picture of what he thinks and at the same time we all know socialism does not thrive it's 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 the simple terms right there socialism does not thrive. it starts while at the same time it falls back it's never tribes whenever socialism brings out something you know everyone's hyper about it and within some certain period of time it's just collapses. Like the, the, like the Medicare um, Charlie was talking about. He said it's because of political games and politics as a whole to so those bribe people to vote for them. Those aspects itself is true. It happens. But at the same time, um, if you think about this socialist lecture is saying about the every taxpayer money that has been bring, brought back in the better good of society is, is a form of socialism. I was supporting with that. It's that's kind of like true. Like if you think about it clearly, it's kind of like true. It's kind of like a, a system of socialism. You understand? This this entire video was actually beautiful to watch. Um, I love the lecturer's point of view. I love that he he stick to what he believes in because he was is someone who while he was speaking, I knew Charlie cannot convince him or um, kind of someone they cannot convince him to change his mind. It's someone who is gripped to what he believes in and you can't just come and change his mind just like that he has made a lot of researches and seen a lot of numbers but venezuela venezuela for example they they have a system of socialism right there but if you notice their country as a whole the socialism is still not working perfectly you understand so um this if I, whenever i see americans who come out and say they believe in socialism as a whole they, they just want to keep on saying it yeah socialism is the best system of government so we should, we should stick to that I'll, I'll just keep on saying that that then you should some amenities that you are enjoying in, in society you should stop enjoying the social um amenities you should just go live in a farm start your own socialism your own self or you just travel to venezuela and enjoy yourself if you so much believe in socialism as a whole, go live in places that socialism is being um, supported more. You understand? But he, this man right here, I, I love, I love his guts. Like to be sincere, aside him supporting socialism, I love his guts. I love that he he believes in something and he sticks to that. That was beautiful. But at the same time, Charlie's trying to clarify it to him that socialism never thrives. And a lot of Charlie's video about socialism as a whole, Charlie keep on pointing his streets to them that socialism is a beautiful system. But at the same time, it never thrives. 
It's never. It's never. The reason why is because human beings, we are selfish in nature. It's never tribes. Every single time. Comment down below. Subscribe to this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to China. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, it's in my bed. I got scales.